so happy you're on Hey guys, Jasmine here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, a special hello, yako, and all that to you. So today, I'm so excited because I'll be bringing a lot more new videos for you guys since I'm on holidays. Um, and today's video, I'm going to bring you guys along with me to the gym and I guess show you guys some of the things I do in the gym so that if you want to go and you're tired of doing like the same old treadmill, elliptical, whatever, then you can try these out. Okay, so I don't know if you can notice, but I'm putting the incline of the treadmill up to the highest incline, which is I think 15 on this treadmill. And I'm not going to go that fast. I went about 3.5 to 4 um, speed because you'll need to be able to do, you need to be able to walk for this. Um, so the first exercise is lunges. So for the next exercise, I'm gonna reduce the incline a bit um, because this one is definitely a bit more challenging when there's a higher incline. Um, so we'll be doing the side steps. Uh, one minute on each side as well for this exercise. Alright, so all I'm doing here now is because my calf muscles are definitely feeling it at this point. Um, I'm just kind of stretching them out by doing this, but this way I don't have to stop, completely stop. But I'm still moving, so I just lowered the speed a bit and I'm just doing some stretches um, so that I can be ready for my next exercises. Okay, so now all I'm going to be doing is side lunges again, sort of, but side steps, but I'm going to be doing side lunges. So I slowed it down way more, um, maybe to about two or one. But as you can tell, the difference is the other one was a bit faster, so it's more cardio, whereas um, this side lunge is a lot lower, so it's more of a squat, a moving squat. I don't know if that's what it's called, but yeah, so that's just what I'll, I'm doing on each side. I just did 15 for each side, so 30 altogether. All right, so now I'm going to be doing just regular jump squats. Um, I sped up the, I mean the treadmill a little bit, just so that it's a bit more of a challenge. I didn't speed it up too much. I think it's about 5.5 .5 at this point. And last but definitely not least, um, my heart rate goes really high when I do um, a lot of cardio, heavy cardio. Um, so right now i'm just gonna gradually reduce the speed um, of the treadmill and i always i don't know what health what this has to do with health at all but for me personally i like to reduce my heart rate to at least 100 before i get off um, whenever i do the stairmaster or treadmill or whatever so depending on what you feel like your body needs um just try to reduce your heart rate before you get off don't just completely bring it to a stop okay so i'm not exactly sure what this workout is called i forget but i'm just gonna call it the over and over under bicycle kick <laughs> so you just grab a dumbbell of whatever weight you feel comfortable with um and for this, I would say repetition and um, being able to do it longer, longevity, are more important than the weight amount. So I would suggest getting um, a weight on the lower spectrum. So like 4 kgs or 3, um, whichever. 
And so you're just going to lean back as you can see me doing and lift your legs, don't let them touch the ground and just put the dumbbell over and over and under. And I do this for a minute. So the next exercise is going to be a plank for one minute. Okay, so the last exercise in this sort of um, circuit is, I really don't know what it would be called, but all I do is um, a plank uh, on my uh, hands instead of on my elbows, and I take the weight and I just use the opposite arm to put it across my body, and then just keep putting doing that back and forth for a minute. So whenever you feel like you need rest and are really tired and need to catch your breath, then just go into child's pose, that's what I usually do. Um, and yeah, I sometimes just do a full, I really forget what the names of these yoga poses are, but I just go through this and it kind of reduces my heart rate like I said before and just um, lets my muscles relax for a second before I go on to the next. So basically, for this exercise, you're just going to repeat that um, circuit and do it two more times. Alright, now for some of the fun stuff. So, I really don't, once again, know what this exercise is called. Um, sorry, I was adjusting my phone. I really need to get one of the little phone holder things. Anyway, so for this exercise, all you're going to do is lift up the... Um, dump the uh, the bar you don't have to have any weights on it but um, lower rate weights for this is also recommended um, so for this one you just put it onto your shoulders and you do the crab walk back and forth for like a minute and that's it really yeah so as you can see I try to um, just do a regular squat but Remember to keep your back straight um, and if you feel it starting to curve or um, you know you're not maintaining your balance just um, don't go as low until you can get lower without um, while keeping your back straight. So yeah I just do this for about a minute as well and then all I do is um, I like to do that a rep, um, do it a minute and take about 30 seconds and either do another exercise and go back to it and do that three times or just do it and take 30 seconds rest and then do it again three times. And now I'm going to take a 10 kilogram weight, um, which is about, I guess, 20 pounds or so. And I'm going to do a wall sit. Just because um, of everything, my legs are one of my strongest, I guess. And just a typical, a regular wall sit doesn't really challenge me enough. Um, so you can just do a regular wall sit, or you can also just grab a weight if you want it to be more challenging. So I try to do my wall sit for a minute as well, or you can break it up into 30 seconds and get up, rest for like two seconds and go back down. Um, whatever is easier for you. I know that wall sits can be pretty challenging, but also remember um, to keep your toes lifted um, and let your weight be put into your heels. That way you get more of the workout in your legs than if you have your toes pointed down. And to be honest, I really don't, I can't tell you why, but when we did uh, a strength and conditioning class he just kept reminding us to keep our toes pointed up Time. okay so now all we're really going to do is a bit of a cool down 
Um, so put your arms across both sides like this. And then just lift it over your head and do it for both arms as well. No, listening to the Chop Daily Spotify playlist. So definitely check that out for uh and you know consider it for a workout playlist because it's definitely popping. And now yes, just gonna lift our feet one at a time. Get that good uh hamstring stretch. <laughs> And now we're just going to get on a mat or on the floor, a towel, whatever you have, um, and do some floor stretches. This one's my absolute favorite. I just call it the butterfly. It might be called that. It might not. I'm not sure, but that's what I call it. So that's what we're going to call it today. Um, so you can just do this for however long that you want to, but the stretch always feels really great after a leg workout for me. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing a kind of different stretch. So I'm going to put my leg, one leg across in front of me, and then one straight back behind me, and then just lean forward. This is a really great hamstring stretch, and yeah, I know I'm really like sweaty and gross, but you know, that's just evidence of a good workout, right? So I'm just keeping this for however long like I said before um, it's whatever you feel like your body needs or you know if you want to get a really good stretch and just do that for both sides okay now all I'm really going to do here is rotate my neck both ways um, and also stretch them on both sides as well this is really good for me um, after doing weights, just so that I don't have too much tension in my neck. So yeah guys, that's really all I did today. Um, I've been out of working out for about two weeks now because of exams. So I just wanted to kind of give this quick video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did like it, comment down if there's anything else you'd like to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. No version of you. Okay, I know I closed it out, but I figured I'd show you guys like what I like to have to eat or drink after I work out. And I just went grocery shopping, so I got some stuff for y'all. So this is super simple, like smoothie, ice cream-ish, nice cream type thing that is packed with, you know, whatever peanut butter and banana and matcha, matcha, all that stuff. Whatever that is in those things is about to be in this smoothie. So I have chopped up some Bananas. I'm frozen. Probably should use a plastic bag. Don't don't use this like I do. So so yeah, I got bananas. Got chopped bananas. Oh, they're so frozen. Oh my 
there we go. Peanut butter. Oh. Give you all the love that you deserve. Sorry. It's my song. Baby, if I were you. I like peanut butter a lot, so. Okay, and then yeah, that's it. So I just wanted to like show you guys that and then now I'll let you go about your day And I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed and if you did like this video and If you like seeing workout videos and want me to try to do more even though I'm not a personal trainer I'm just getting back to the gym to be honest. That's why today was a short workout But yeah, let me know and I will do that for you guys Okay, bye